Today's topic is the ulna bone. Introduction. The ulna bone is one of the two bones that make up the forearm. The other is the radius. The ulna is located in the inner sides of the body in the anatomical position, and it is longer than the radius. It connects with the humerus bone at its upper end to form the elbow joint, and at its lower end it connects with the radius and the carpal bones of the wrist joint. Anatomy. Trochlear notch. A large C-shaped notch at the upper end of the ulna that connects with the trochlea of the humerus bone, forming the elbow joint. Olequinon process, a large curved bony protrusion that forms the upper border of the trochlear notch. It serves as the insertion point for the triceps muscle, and it can be felt at the point of the elbow under the skin. Coronoid process, the triangular bony protrusion that forms the lower border of the trochlear notch. It enters into the humerus where the elbow is flexed. Radial notch, a small cavity at which the ulna connects with the head of the radius bone. It allows the radius to move smoothly with on the ulna and allows the forearm to rotate. The shaft, it is broader at the upper part and decreases in size toward the lower part. The head, a small rounded head at the lower part which connects to the radius and with the wrist bones below it. Styloid process, a small bony projection that connects with the cartilage of the wrist joint, and it helps with the flexibility and strength of the wrist. Function, the main function of the ulna is working with the radius to allow the forearm to rotate. This rotation of the forearm increases the range of motion of the wrist and allow you to do the everyday activities you normally do with your hands, like writing, typing on a keyboard, turning keys and doorknobs. Injuries. One of the most common injuries to the ulna is fractures. This fracture can be a result of a direct impact, such as a fall directly on the forearm, or a direct hit by an object, or an indirect injury such as falling with an outstretched arm. The two bones, the ulna and the radius, are connected together by a fibrous tissue, so a fracture of one bone may result in dislocation or separation from the other bone. Examples of these fractures include Montegia fracture, which is the fracture of the upper third of the shaft of the ulna, which results in dislocation from the radius. Huma fracture, which is a fracture of the ocranin process, which also results in dislocation of the radius. Galeazzi fracture, which is a fracture of the lower part of the radius bone, but results in a dislocation from the ulna at the wrist. Treatment. The treatment for the ulna injuries depends on the severity of the injury. Simple fractures can be treated with a cast and then physical therapy exercises to restore strength and range of motion. More severe fractures usually need surgery to hold fractures together. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.